I'm Adam Snow with the Certified Polo Instructors Program. Today I'm going to be discussing with you some of my favorite drills on the polo field. When I go out to stick and ball alone, I generally stick and ball with two balls. Here we have two balls that would be separated by roughly 40 yards. And I'd come around in a loose circle and try to hit the first ball over the farther ball so that this would be roughly an 80 yard shot and then I'd hit the second ball I arrived to back over the first ball moving around the t field as fluidly as I can including when I get to the end here trying to plan out a nice back shot where I can hit one ball here and one ball here and do the same drill back the other end of the field. Today I have the benefit of teammate Wes Bryan out there with me and with two players you have more more variability, more to practice. These are two horses representing Wes and I. The top of the M is the direction they're going with the ball here. And most people think about the player with the ball, but I also think that it's very important for the player without the ball, the teammate, to be working hard to present an easy pass. Because as Purple arrives at this ball, the last look that they have is, okay, where does my teammate want to receive the ball? Their eyes move to the red teammate, then to a place out in front of them, and then back to the ball and try to take a nice easy swing and hit the ball there. The objective of this drill is also to flow up and down the field. Sometimes it's parallel at an easy canter at the more elemental phases of the drill and after you get comfortable with that you can start crisscrossing and start going at more speed. The other part of this drill that catches some people by surprise is that um, even though if I'm doing it with somebody that's never done it before I say let's try to hit first time passes they'll invariably take an extra tap in order to see where I am. That comes back to the preparation that we're trying to do before the ball and I think that um, Forcing yourself to hit first time passes when you're stick and balling with a teammate puts you in more of a game situation where you don't have a lot of time to take a tap, look up, see where your teammates are. You need to take that time before you arrive at the ball so that you have a plan for hitting the ball to a target that you've prepared for. These are both drills that I recommend all levels of players trying. First begin with with a slow speed until you get comfortable with it and then see if you can increase the speed but this is as much of a game scenario as as I can find alone or with one other teammate as far as preparing before you arrive at the ball the objective of hitting a first time pass here is crucial because as purple arrives to this ball they're they're preparing their horse they're checking the field to see where they're target is for the pass and um, and then immediately after hopefully hitting a nice pass here they are then presenting again for their teammate now the red player has the ball and having to think about which passes can my red teammate hit me in the case of this angle the red teammate is likely to be arriving at this ball here so you need to think okay I cannot run over here because it's virtually impossible for him to hit that pass where is an easy reception area and so these are things that both the player on the ball and the receiver are thinking about but if you think about executing good passes and then presenting again to receive a pass that's the objective of this drill first I'm going to try to demonstrate what I like to do alone which is stick and balling with two balls I'll start at a nice easy lope I've got the balls spread out roughly 20 yards apart and you can utilize whatever swing you want with a short distance sometimes I just take half swings but as I arrive at the ball I'm sort of thinking I want to hit it over the first ball nice easy swing and then I've got another target now of course my second ball is the first target and that's my last look prepare the horse and now I start to think about how I'm going to turn this corner. So there's a cut shot. I'll try to back this away. And I'll come back around going the other direction. This is the drill I enjoy doing alone. Because there's always a target out front of me. I have to prepare as I arrive to the ball. 
and I want to just hit the ball nice and easy over the first ball. I'm here with teammate Wesley Bryan and Wes and I are going to try to demonstrate what we do stick and balling together with one ball. So essentially we're trying to hit passes going parallel, always have a target. Wes would be looking now at the direction my horse is going, picking a target out of front of me, and now he's thinking about where he can receive this ball as I'm passing it out front of him. We tend to have a back shot idea. Ours is tail and less called away, so I'll let him tail this ball. I'll get ready to receive it, and now Wesley has to work to get back ready to receive my pass. I'm looking at putting the ball out in front of him and then presenting again. I'll try to hurry up a little to get close. I'll put it out in front of you, or tail. West turn for a tail, putting it out in front. Now I'm thinking about where he can get me the ball. We're trying to hit the ball first time without any taps try to loop one in front of him. Now I'm going to wait. He doesn't know which side to hit it. Tail. And I'm going to let that ball pass me. Hopefully I can hit this next shot a little bit better. And put that back out in front of Wes. And now Wes, let's see if we can do it at a little bit of pace. Staying closer together. So let's get in a little tighter. And don't be afraid to zigzag a little. Try to get a little tighter with me. It's a way to wait for it. So sometimes you do have to slow down and wait for the ball to, to arrive to you. Away. Back to Wesley and then I need to present again. I'm looking at what direction his horse is going and ideally putting it in front of that. It's not easy, but it's good game practice. So I'm arriving at this ball and I'm sneaking a peek at Wesley. The direction that his horse's head is going, the last time I look, tail, is the way I want to hit the ball. So it's very important that the receiver gives you that direction. We tend to think it's the guy with the ball that just has to pick where to pass it, but a lot of times it's the receiver that has to be smart about giving you an easy place to put it. Well done! See how Wesley bellied out on that ball? And he had to wait for me. Now he's kind of coming at an angle. I've got to think about what angle he wants to receive it. Back away. So basically arriving at this ball. Wes, remember my last look at you is where I think you want to receive it. So that time it was clear where he wanted it. I'm trying to head sort of a little bit in front of him here. Well hit. And he's going to come for a back shot called tail. I hit the tail shots out there. Even though that's not technically a tail, that's the way we play it, is back to the right is a way, but to the left is tail. Let's try to put it out in front of Wes. I'm going to fake tail and call away. Away! And you can do this stuff too, and that's the way to lose a defender who's just looking at me. So you can really take this to all levels. Come to me, come to me. Well hit. And then when you start feeling good, you can start cruising at a little speed. And I'm going to present straight in front of him, not very far. That's beautiful. And then you can, you know, start getting creative with some neck shots. 
think where I want it. Well done. Switching leads to flow into it. A little away. Well done. Now I'm going to see if he recognizes where I want it. I'm going off to his right. But this is sort of perfect being the receiver. I sneak a peek at him and pop it in front of him. But hopefully that gave you an impression and a feeling of that drill and all the things that it incorporates, aspects of the game which it incorporates. We weren't perfect, but we hope you enjoyed our demonstration. This has been Wesley Bryan and Adam Snow with the Certified Polo Instructors Program. Thank you for joining us. Play safe, play smart, play polo.